elections in Hyderabad. It's that, you know, typically like a student feels that my parikshah is finished. But by deploying me in Maharashtra, they have re-energized me, I would say. And the kind of love and warmth and welcome that I have seen in Maharashtra, I just didn't expect that, you know, so many would recognize me here. And at the same time, I would say that, you know, people are in a very high spirits to really vote to BJP. That's a very, very good sign. Because we all know that Bombay as such, Mumbai, is the capital city of this uh, country, our country, Bharat. By now, it should have been somewhere else. We should have actually overtaken, beaten New York by this time. Because what is in there, you tell me? The kind of entrepreneurship that's there here, the kind of, you know, the industries are there here, for that matter, even the Bollywood that's there here. We have the appetite of earning and also spending here. In spite of all this, the kind of traffic that's here and the kind of road facility, flyovers, whatever we have, metros here, are not sufficing the growing speed of Mumbai. In the last two years, the kind of development that we are seeing is the only development that has occurred under the collaboration of Bajpa and Mahayuti. In two years, if this is what Mumbai can see, I am sure this time, with the complete sweep winning of uh, the BJP as NDA with Mahayuti, I'm so sure it's not very far for me to look at from here in a couple of years that Mumbai would stand on par with New York. So when you, when you go to meet people uh, of Mumbai, what they say, what's their agenda, like, you know, what, you, what are their expectations uh, they talk about? Yeah, specifically, I have met... Uh, the big uh, group of Telugu people, whether it is Bivandi, whether it is here and uh, proper in Mumbai also. What I have understood is, in so many years, Mumbai also has been a place where people from entire country have come and settled here. Especially we know that the Telugu people here in Mumbai were the people who are brought in by Britishers mm -hmm. to construct and to help in making Mumbai of those days Bombay. But unfortunately, they have there been no voice for them at all. And unfortunately, they still are lying here. But for these two years, they are still there without any job facility, without any, you know, pakka houses for them. They are still in our, those underdeveloped bastis. I am so sure that now with the, the uh, alliance of Mahayuti and BJP under NDA, I'm sure that there would be a new future for those people. And especially those Padmashalis whom we say that, you know, are the weavers, mm -hmm. who are those artisans. That's what this Padmashali means. They're artisans. They do different kind of uh, works. I'm sure that there is going to be a brighter future because especially in Bivandi, they're going to start uh, uh, industries to uplift women and make under Swavalamban Bharat also where they're going to make a different kinds of articles and things out of cotton. Ma'am, you spoke about the alliance. Uh, we know that how Sivshana and BJP was in alliance. They got mandated. Then, then the alliance was broken. Then uh, Uddhav Thakre joined uh, Congress. Now he's campaigning. You know, uh, in fact, yesterday also the Devinji highlighted that you know the, on the Congress posters. There is Balasaheb Thakre po, uh, photo is there, and along with that, uh, you know, Hakka Panja is there. <laughs> How do you see these, you know, the, the Balasaheb Thakre was a Katta Hindu and now uh, the posters are with Panja. I would only say one thing that being a novice of politics, it surprises me that how people can really stoop down. Is ultimately politics of only winning hook or crook? Because according to me, Balsap Takareji, as you rightly said, was a man who stood up for the atrocities that had happened on Hindus here, specifically. And today, Uddhav uh, Thakre, I am surprised that, you know, he, he wouldn't mind uh, getting into alliance with any party. Especially the Bhivandi Royds, all of us know that where Bal Thakareji stood up for them. Today, he is with that opposition standing up and saying that this is the actual Shiv Sena. Now it's time that people should wake up to understand.
that what exactly is who is carrying the ideology of bal sab thakre ji mm-hmm. see if if suppose if i were to say that you know i am a staunch follower of mm-hmm. bal sab thakre ji then i would just look into it ki who has compromised my uh, bal sab thakre ji's ideology and it is very clear very evident that you know the taku thakre ji has compromised with the ideology today has got into alliance with congress now i'll tell you one more thing now look at the whole story for example even in telangana mm. now congress had an alliance with amy now congress has alliance with uddhav thakur sorry thakre ji now where is bala sahib uh, thakre ji if amy is also with congress and uddhav thakre ji is also with congress amy is also with congress i am actually stunned that you know if aaj bala sahab thakre would have been thakre ji would have been here he would have felt very bad for whatever is being done because of you know the thakre ji and i'm so sure that shinde ji stood up for what ever bala sahab thakre ji wanted to happen in maharashtra that's time people understand that this is the actual party which is led by mahayuti led by shinde ji which is an alliance with bjp because bjp then also stood with palas bal sahab thakre ji was there now also it stood up with the same person with a person like shinde ji who still believes in following only the principles and ideologies of bala sahab thakre ji this clarity a voter needs to get at this point of time Now it is said to be, you know, you are coming from a place from Hyderabad, which is considered to be a, you know, forte of uh, MIM, and you gave a strong fight there. We all seen. Uh, uh, how, how? Because you know where we are sitting right now, it's Mumbai and Maharashtra. Some uh, point, you know, we have uh, one MP from MIM, and we had one MLA. Do you see anything about MIM in Mumbai, Maharashtra? Do you felt that, or uh, will the people will? Uh, reject mm it, i would say more than mim or uh, congress i think i'm so sure like there has come a change in hyderabad lok sabha parliament to where i stood up as a candidate mm. that muslims are also tired of this hatred speeches even muslims feel that you know the con- the country would only progress when there is a unity and brotherhood and fraternity among every religion of this nation i'm sure even in maharashtra also i'm so sure muslim would want to move on for peace for development and fraternity because the country cannot be divided on basis of religion the country needs to be understood on the basis of poverty downtroddenness and those uh, cast like you know dalits and all you know which we would really hate to you know address it this way but poor dalits and you know the banjarans the stscs obcs have not been able to develop and women needs that support to come forward you know to they also need to develop the youngsters need to have jobs there are a lot of jobless people now everybody in the entire country along with maharashtra and telangana all of the youngsters need to understand the voters have to understand that shouldn't get into the politics of religion the desh the country can never grow on the basis of religious diversity see religion is a very personal note we would love to celebrate because of religion how can we get divided because of religion this is what narendra modi ji believes also and that's the reason you say the slogan repeatedly goes sabka saath sabka vikas sabka saath sabka vikas people have to know that and yet been working for that it is just that these people you know they hate because they envy him that you know they would want to repeatedly bring up statements you know that only divide this country so the people really have to now think different my last question ma'am uh no opposition you know who, who started with uh, saying if modi comes if bjp wins the constitution will be destroyed finished now yesterday they have you know changed the uh, they termed a new uh, <laughs> coin the new term and now they are saying the country is heading toward one nation one leader to target prime minister modi i would only say one thing they should know that it is exactly one nation they have already said one nation very good they can't now divide the nation into hindu muslim they have accepted it right 
good good for them that it is truly one nation and that one nation wants one leader because the leader believes in sabka saath aadha to maan liye na to hamare leader ko bhi manna padega koi chara nahi hai unke paas aadha hamare paas aage hai look half of it they have already traveled towards us because this leader so called modi ji believes in one nation now they have accepted half of it they will know that the only capable man who can lead this one nation is modi ji nobody else uh, last question ma'am uh, you you were very vocal about you know women's uh, uh, issues uh, we've seen what happened in uh, delhi the, with swati maliwal what's your reaction as what i also said yesterday also the protector only pounces on then where should anybody go i'm surprised ke agar koi bjp ki neta bolti thi ye baat आप बोल सकते हैं अरे भाई ये क्या है आपके ऊपर ज्यादा हो रही है मीन्स पीपल आर टारगेटिंग आप यू कैन से इफ अ वुमेन इन आप इट सेल्फ इज हैज अट्रॉसिटीज हैपनिंग ऑन हर व्हाट इज ए प्लाइट ऑफ एनी कॉमन वुमेन देयर हु इज नॉन पॉलिटिकल और इज फ्रॉम सम अदर पॉलिटिकल पार्टी सो पीपल हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम डेली दैट आप इज नो सेफ पार्टी इन ए मोर नाउ टू द एक्सटेंट ऑफ विनिंग they can suppress anybody even if it is a woman of their own party also